Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Today, we are talking about the towing calculator for the 2022 Ford Maverick pickup truck. I own one myself, and I've been contemplating about how I'm gonna be using it for camping. Am I towing a trailer? Am I just gonna be outfitting the truck? What am I gonna do, or am I gonna do both? Um, and how much weight can I actually put on the whole thing and make it all work within the limits? Luckily, because it isn't cut and dried, Ford has this very handy calculator that they offer that helps you figure it all out. Now, why do we need a towing calculator, right? It's cut and dried, isn't it? Payload's 1,500 pounds. Towing is 2,000 pounds. If you get the 4K towing package on the EcoBoost, it's 4,000 pounds. What's the big deal? You get a 2,000 pound trailer and you throw 1,500 pounds on the truck and away you go. No, it doesn't quite work like that. You cannot do the max payload and the max towing on virtually any truck out there at the same time. It just doesn't work like that. This towing guide helps us figure out how much weight we can actually put in the truck with the weight of the trailer that we have. And that's really what I wanted to figure out because 2,000 pounds isn't a lot, right? 2,000 pounds is not a lot of trailer, especially if you're looking at some kind of a camping trailer. And I had in mind something like a little small teardrop or maybe a tent trailer. I wanted to find out that if I put my buddies in my truck with all of our food, our drinks, our ice chest, chairs, barbecue, all of the grill, everything, how much trailer am I going to have left? So let's check it out. You can find plenty of towing calculators. By searching toy calculator at the search bar and you will find quite a few of them out there, mostly by various businesses out there that if you go to their website, ultimately you're going to find yourself in a retail environment, but these do work pretty well. Now, I like using the Ford one because it is designed around the Ford product. There's a lot of reference material in the guide that is specific to your vehicle. And some of the ratings and how it calculates is from the perspective of Ford, primarily the tongue weight. To find this guide, it's pretty easy. We have a link down below in the information section, but you can also type 2022 Ford RV and towing guide in the search bar. And the very first thing that comes up is that guide and you can download it in a PDF and then you have it. All right, so let's get to it. When you have the PDF file open, you're going to find a lot of material here. There's plenty of pages and it has to do with all of the ratings for all of the Ford vehicles that you can tow with. And it has a lot of explanation and material that you can really dive into to learn how to outfit your vehicle, how to properly use your vehicle when you're towing and all sorts of things like that. But most importantly to the towing calculator, it has some of the reference information you're going to need when you actually go to put that information into the calculator. On page 37, you'll find the actual tables and you can see on those tables, both for the hybrid and the EcoBoost with and without the 4K tow package, what the GCWR, which is the gross combined weight rating is you're going to need that information later inside that towing calculator. As you can see, it shows the tow rating, which is 2,000 pounds on the Maverick Hybrid, 2,000 pounds on the EcoBoost, and up to 4,000 pounds with the all-wheel drive EcoBoost with the tow package. And you can see the gross combined weight rating is different for every different model. The one for the hybrid, which is the one we're looking at, is 6,010 pounds, so I'm gonna note that. Before we jump into using the calculator, we need to gather a few pieces of information. Now, first you wanna look at your door jam on your truck. There are two tags there. One has your payload. That's a yellow and white tag on the sticker. And you can see your payload, in my case, that's 1,551 pounds. The other sticker is the silver one, which is down a little bit lower, and there you will find your gross vehicle weight rating. That is GVWR on the sticker. Here on the PDF file, there's a nice explanation of what all these terms mean in detail. And there's a bit of a diagram and it's pretty basic. It seems confusing at first, but gross vehicle weight, that is how much your vehicle weighs with you and all of your payload in it. That is the total amount, everything, you, your family, your dog, your bikes, 
your suitcases, whatever you're putting in that truck, that is your total weight, okay? Gross combination weight, GCW, and the rating GCWR, that is your gross vehicle weight, like I just talked about, plus the weight of your trailer. And so there's a rating for both of these that tells you what the maximum is your vehicle can weigh with all your payload. There's a maximum that your vehicle and your trailer can weigh all in. And the GVWR is on that sticker on your door jam. To find the GCWR rating, you can find that on page 37 on this particular book. So now we've got the calculator on page 51 of the PDF file up on the screen. And so it starts out with asking about what you're going to tow. Now, I really don't know yet. I want to find out what I can tow. So I'm going to start with 2,000 pounds, which is the maximum allowable trailer weight. So I'm going to put that in, 2,000 pounds, and it asks for trailer contents weight. So what you need to know is, is you don't get to tow a 2,000 pound trailer and then throw your ice chest in it, then throw your bikes in it, then throw another 100 pounds of water in the water tank and things like that. The allowable towing weight is the total weight. So if you have a 2,000 pound trailer, you can't put anything in it. And so it wants to know what your contents weight is. So you can see by looking at this calculator, if I said I'm gonna put 200 pounds of gear in there, we're over. So if I have 200 pounds of gear I intend to put in my trailer, that needs to weigh 1,800 pounds plus the 200. You see where this is going. At the end of the day, your total trailer weight that's allowable on your towing just must not exceed that, no matter what you got in it or what combination of trailer plus gear you have. So there's that. We're just going to use 2,000 pounds for the time being. I'm going to scroll down to step two. What is being carried in the truck? It wants to know what my payload is. And this is why we do the calculator, because we want to find out what we can put into the total picture of payload and towing. So cargo weight. Now I'm going camping with two of my buddies, let's say, and I want to have ice chests, food, I want to have chairs, I want to have cooking gear, I want to have maybe a couple of bikes. So for the sake of conversation, we're going to say that's 350 pounds worth of gear I'm going to have in the truck. People weight, me, I'm 180 pounds, my partner's 160, uh, maybe another buddy, let's round this to around 550 pounds for three of us. Trailer ton weight is automatically figured in here at 200 pounds. Ford assumes 10% of your trailer weight for ton weight. That 200 pounds of ton weight is payload on the truck. That's weight on the truck, so it's considered payload. Always important to remember that your ton weight is part of the total for your payload. Hitch weight. Now, that is talking about if you have some really ornate aftermarket hitch, like a self-leveling hitch that has weight to it because it's a piece of machinery. You put that in there too. So as we're looking right now with people, with my stuff, I've got 1,100 pounds of gear. Now my max payload from the sticker on the door is 1551. So is expected payload less than the max? Yes, my payload rating, I'm good there. I'm at less than my total payload rating. So let me scroll down. My gross vehicle weight rating on this particular truck is 5,200 pounds, and I got that from the door label. It automatically approximates my curb weight because it subtracts the 1,551 pound payload that I put in up here, and it gives me a pretty rough estimate of what the curb weight is automatically. You can't enter that yourself. Total expected payload, my gross vehicle weight is 4,749. Is GVW less than the GVWR, the rating that's allowed? Yes, so I'm good there. So let me scroll down. Now we have to see if we're within the GCW, the gross combined weight rating. So my gross vehicle weight is 47.49 as we figured out above there. And now it's gonna subtract back out the ton weight. Why? Because the trailer weight already includes that weight and we've added it to the truck to figure out what the payload on the truck is, we don't want to count it twice. So it takes it back out. It's sort of like doing your taxes. Here now we have 45.49 for my adjusted gross vehicle weight. My total trailer weight, as I put in, is 2,000 pounds, which combined all in, I'm at 65.49 pounds for my total gross combined weight. Now what is my GCWR? That is the rating that's allowed on that table. 6,010 pounds. 
oops, looks like I'm over the mark. So I don't have full payload on the truck, but I have a 2,000 pound trailer, yet over the mark for my allowable GCWR. That means I'm overloaded. Basically what this shows us is we cannot have our cake and eat it too. You cannot have full payload on the truck and full towing on the trailer. You can't put all of that together. And that's not just true of the Maverick, that's true of most vehicles out there. There's always a place where these two things converge that you have to figure out what you're putting on a trailer, what you're putting in the truck to make it all fit within the vehicle's rating. So that means I need to scroll back up here to the top and maybe compromise a little bit on my trailer. So let's say 1,600 pounds for a trailer. And I'm gonna scroll back down. Now my trailer ton weight has been lowered to 160, which affects my gross vehicle weight. Now I'm gonna come back down to the bottom. And am I down to where I need to be for my GCWR? No, still not yet. What I'm finding out here is what I'm capable of in terms of looking at how I'm gonna outfit my vehicle. I'm seeing now that a 1600 pound trailer, at least with my expectations with what I want to put in my truck with people and gear, isn't working out. So let me try lowering that trailer just a little bit more. Let's make that 1400 pounds. And I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom. And yes, now I am down below my gross combined weight rating. That's very important because that rating right there is talking about your capability for the vehicle, not only what it can tow or what you can put in the back, it's what's combined. That's what the brakes are designed for. That's what the suspension is designed for. That's what the weight of the vehicle can handle in physics. If you have too much weight going on and it exceeds the weight of your vehicle such that it can't control that weight, uh, you're gonna have trouble maybe slowing down, going down a hill, coming to a stop safely. It's gonna wear out your vehicle or maybe even damage your powertrain. That's why these ratings. So keeping it below that is what we need to do both for safety as well is longevity of the vehicle. And so we can use this to figure out other things. What if my trailer is 1,700 pounds and I just don't have any way around that? That means I need to come down here and leave some of the stuff at home. Maybe leave a buddy home, <laughs> right? Maybe there's just two of us in the truck and we'll do this. And maybe leave a couple things at home, 250 pounds worth of gear. Let me scroll back down here and that works. That's what this towing calculator is all about. This helps us determine what we can have. If you plug in the digits for the EcoBoost with a 4K, you're gonna find out the same formula. It has a substantially higher gross combined vehicle weight rating and a substantially higher trailer weight that you can have, but you will still find when you get down here to the combined weight that you still cannot have a 4,000 pound trailer and 1,500 pounds of payload. It still gets to a point where you have to give and take someplace. So there you go, the towing calculator. This is fun. I really enjoy the heck out of this stuff. This calculator really helped me to figure out really what my game plan is for building things out to camp in my truck. Now, first off, I'm not going for a trailer right away. You're probably gonna do a rooftop tent and some racks and some things like that. And that's gonna be fine for now. That won't ever really get over the payload rating, but the time comes when I do want to get a trailer, I now know that my limit is somewhere around 1,500 pounds, even though it can tow 2,000 pounds. If my partner and my buddies and all of our stuff get put in the truck, bikes, kayaks, whatever, I can't haul a 2,000 pound trailer on top of all that and stay within the limits of the vehicle. It wouldn't be safe and it's not good for the vehicle. And that really is the reason for this calculator. So we can figure out how to outfit ourselves and how to set our priorities and how to make the right purchase for our trailers and equipment in a way that gets us home safe after that fun trip. You know, we haven't broken our vehicle and we haven't lost control on a mountain road because we overloaded it and didn't even realize it. So there you go. Now we have a lot of Maverick content, a whole bunch there, more coming up right there on our playlist. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right there and we'll notify you of everything we do. Either way, stay tuned.